Good morning! This is the Preschool Project. I'm Teacher Katie and it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday! It's Wild Wiggly Wednesday! It's Wild Wiggly Wednesday, Wild Wiggly Wednesday, Wild Wiggly, Wild Wiggly, Wild Wiggly Wednesday. Hi, Teacher Katie! Hi, Roxy! It's Wild Wiggly Wednesday and guess what? What? I've been working on my kind koala points. You are doing amazing at that, Roxy. Yep, I've been saying kind words and having kind, gentle touches. And um, I've been sharing and taking turns. And guess what, Teacher Katie? What, Roxy? We are at 18 kind koala points. Yesterday we were at 15, and then we got three more. And so that means it's 18. Teacher Katie, can you believe it? We're at 18 already. I know you guys are doing so amazing, and you're so kind, and I love that. Aw, thank you, Teacher Katie. That makes me happy inside. Thanks for the kind words. You're welcome, Roxy. You guys are all working so well together. I'm so proud of you. Yep, and my friends at home are working on that too. They're being really kind koalas, Teacher Katie. I know. I am so proud of all my kids. All my kids in class and all my kids who are at home. Yeah. We're proud of you guys. Keep up the good work because we like you guys and you're being kind koalas and good friends. And that makes us happy, right, Teacher Katie? It does. All right, Roxy. Well, yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, Teacher Katie. And I'll sing the song. You ready, Teacher Katie? I'm ready. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we say the end. All right, I'm going to put up Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, the second. Roxy, what is it today? Oh, we forgot the months of the year, Teacher Gady. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. Hee 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 hee. It's okay, Teacher Gady. I forget sometimes too. Yep, even teachers forget. You are right. Let's sing our day, our days of the week, our months of the year. <laughs> Teacher Katie, you're so funny. Thanks, Roxy. <laughs> Sometimes I think my brain is a little tired. That's okay, Teacher Katie. Maybe you can have a nap later and then your brain won't be so tired. I think you're right, Roxy. I think I might need a nap. <laughs> All right, let's sing our song. Are you ready? I'm ready, Teacher Katie. January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, and October, November, and December. All 12 months, yay! All 12 months, yay! All right, so put up February, Teacher Katie. All right, and then yesterday was the second, so today is the third. So it's Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021, or 2021, depending on how you want to say it. Right, Teacher Katie? That's right, good memory. All right, I'm ready to sing my season song, Teacher Katie. All right, Roxy, you ready? Yes, I am. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Ah, I love them all. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Ah, I love them all. And it's still winter, Teacher Katie. See, the month of the year is blue. January, I mean December, January, and February, all winter. But pretty soon it's going to be spring, right, Teacher Katie? That's right. It will be turning to spring pretty soon. All right, Teacher Katie, I'm going to go look at the weather. All right. What's the weather like today? Like today? Like today? What's the weather like today? Roxy will say, Teacher Katie, it's cloudy today. Over there, that one, cloudy. See? <laughs> uh, you are right. What do you... What is your prediction for later? What do you think the weather is going to be like later? Later, I think it's going to be... Hmm, I think the sun's going to come out. I think it's going to be partly cloudy, but have a little bit of sun. All right, so Roxy thinks it's going to be partly cloudy and little sun come out. I think it's going to be... I don't know. I feel like it's going to be cloudy all day. That's okay, Teacher Katie. We can have different ideas and still be friends. Did you know that? Yes, I did. I did know that. Thank you, Roxy. You're welcome, Teacher Katie, because sometimes I have different ideas than you, and you have different ideas than me, but that's okay. 
because we still like hanging out and doing stuff together. Right, Teacher Katie? That's right, Roxy. That is right. All right, I'm going to put our little star because you did awesome, Roxy. Yay! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yay! Okay, friends, go work on your um, calendar page in your book, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Right, Teacher Katie? That's right. We'll see you in a few minutes, friends. Welcome back, it's Letter Circle. Hey friends, how are you doing? It's Wild Wiggly Wednesday. Hey, look, that's our, that's my letter, it's R. Err, for Roxy. Err, err, err. Good job, Roxy, thank you. All right, friends, I was thinking we could play another game. Ooh, I like games. All right, so I have, I have a bunch of cards and we are on a mission. What are we looking for, Teacher Katie? We are looking for words that have R in them. Okay, R in them. And we're looking for a word that starts with an R. All right, Teacher Katie, I'm ready. All right, our first word. The first word is mouse. Um, there's no R in it, Teacher Katie. Nope, no R in it. Because that's M-O-U-S-E. No R and doesn't start with R. Nope, it does not. Good looking. What about this word? That's lamp. L-A-M-P. Um, let me see. There's no R in it, and, um, it doesn't start with an R. Good job. What about this word? <gasps> Ooh, that's ice cream. I, C, E, and then space, C, R, E, A, M. Oh, <gasps> there's a little R. There's a little R right there, Teacher Katie. You're right, Lola. Good job. So it has an R in it, but not at the beginning. Nope, not at the beginning. All right. What about this word? <gasps> ooh, ooh, that's frog, Teacher Katie. F R O G. Hey, there's an R. There's an R. Yes, you're right. There's an R in that. Good job. Good job. All right. Next word. That's cat. C A T. No R, and it doesn't start with an R. That's okay. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. See if we find another one. Let's see here, Teacher, teacher Katie. G U I T A R. There's an R at the end! There's an R at the end! Good job! I missed that one! I didn't see it at all! Oh, I almost missed it too! Good job! That was awesome! Alright, our last word. Are you guys ready? Oh, 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 that's ring, Teacher Katie, and it starts with R. R-I-N-G. Ring! Good job, Roxy! Thanks, Lola! High five Zs! High five Zs! You guys did awesome! I am so proud of you! Alright, friends, if you have some items around your house and you want to figure out if they start with the letter R, go ahead and do that. It'll be super fun. All right, friends, since it is Wednesday, we are going to trace our letters. <gasps> Woohoo! Trace our letters, trace our letters. I think I'm going to trace mine in rainbow colors. Oh, I'm going to trace mine in rainbow colors too. All right, friends, we'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back, it's Math Circle. I'm so excited. Hey friends, how are you doing? We're doing good, teacher. It's Wild Wiggly Wednesday. Wild Wiggly Wednesday. Wild Wiggly, Wild Wiggly, Wild Wiggly Wednesday. I love, I love Wild Wiggly Wednesday. Me too, I like Wild Wiggly Wednesday too. Teacher Katie, what are we gonna do? Well, I thought it was about time for a story. Ooh, you know how I love stories. I like stories too, Teacher Katie. What's it about? Well, this story is about Elmo. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Hey, he's red. R, R, R for red. R, he's red. Right, Teacher Katie? That's right. Our letter of the week is R. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hey, but that's not our number. That's a different number, Teacher Katie. It is. This number is, that's number 15. Look. Right up there on the number line. 15, you're right. Well, this is about Elmo and how he had 15, dun da da, 15 little cars, Teacher Katie. Uh huh. So Elmo had 15 little cars. <gasps> Aww, that's so sweet. But the only problem was, uh oh, what was the problem, Teacher Katie? Tell me what the problem was. <sighs> Well, he really wanted 18. Oh, that's true. Here's 15. 
and he wanted 18, because that's our number, right, Teacher Katie? So he needed one, two, three. He needed three more cars, Teacher Katie. Yep, he needed three more cars. So he asked his mom if he could have three more cars. What did his mom say? What did she say? She said, well, Elmo, you have to do some chores. <gasps> yeah. He has to do chores to get three more cars? And almost that's a good idea. Oh, okay. Well, what did he what did he, what did he have to do, Teacher Katie? What did he have to do to 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 uh uh get him? Well, first he had to pull some carrots from the garden. Ooh, how many carrots did he have to pull? Well let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, hey, that's our number, 18. That's right, it is 18. So first he had to pull carrots from the garden. Yep, so he pulled 18 carrots. Nice, and then he got a car. Oh, so he was at 15, Teacher Katie. Now he's at 16, mm-hmm, now he's at 16. He just needs two more cars. Go, Elmo, go, Elmo, go, Elmo. And then what did he, what did he do next? What did he do next, Teacher Katie? Well, then his mom asked him to feed the fish. Ooh, how many fish are there? One, two, three. There's three fish, Teacher Katie. There's there's three of them, yep. But the fish needed some food. Oh, so Alma walked to the store. Oh, good job, Alma. And he got him some fish food. Oh, he's a good, I that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Those fish look really hungry. Yeah, so the fish got their food. Uh-huh, so Alma fed. The one, two, three fish. Aw, I bet they were happy after that. Yep. And then his mom gave him another car. So he was at 16, Teacher Katie. Now he's at 17. Uh-huh. <gasps> he just needs one more car. He just needs one more. Right, Teacher Katie? Yes, he does. He needs one more car. So his mom asked him to walk the dogs. Oh, how many dogs does he have? One, two, three, four. Four, five. He had to watch five dogs? Uh-huh. So he walked all five dogs. Whoa! At the same time? Well, he had to walk them each, each one, one at a time, because otherwise they get too poly. Yeah, that would happen if you walk five dogs at a time. They might run off in five directions. That might be a little crazy. So he had to walk, go on five walks? Uh-huh, he went on five walks. But guess what happened after he did that? <gasps> what happened? What happened? He was at 17 cars and then he got, oh, he got 18 cards. He got 18 cars and Alma was very, he was very happy, wasn't he? Oh, I love happy endings. Oh, me too. All right, friends, since it's Wednesday, we are gonna trace our number 18 and we'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back. It is our very last circle. It's fun circle. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hey, Teacher Katie. I'm excited to see what the rainbows turned out as. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, they turned, it's, a, it's just a little bit, huh, Teacher Katie? Yeah, it's, it's really light, friends. But it did, this one sort of turned a little orange. This one got a little purple. It's pretty light. And this one, this one's kind of a light, very light green. So ours didn't get very, ours didn't get very dark. Let's see if I can hold them up a little closer. Whoop. Just pretty light, pretty light. But you know what? We tried it and it was a good, I think it was a really good experiment. What do you guys think? Yeah, it was a good experiment, Teacher Katie. I liked it. All right, so we've been talking about our rainbow colors and how red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors. And then when we mix them, they make our secondary colors, the other colors of our rainbow. Yeah, Teacher Katie, can you get our chart? Sure. So when we mix the red and the yellow, we got orange, Teacher Katie. Uh-huh. And we mixed the blue and the yellow, we got green, Teacher Katie. Uh-huh. And then when we mixed the red and the blue, we got purple just like the simple rainbow that goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. But our fancy rainbow teacher Katie is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is a blue purple, and then violet, which is another name for purple. That's right, good job. So we have our fancy rainbow and just our normal simple rainbow. 
So we've been talking about rainbow colors because R is our letter of the week. Yes, R is for Roxy and R is for rainbow. Guess what? Jamie Bear. Bear, at the end of my name, I have an R in it. You do, that is a good observation. Good job, Jamie. All right, friends, we are going to do another rainbow project. Are you guys ready? You bet, Teacher Katie. So, so I had to start this one a little early because um, I put sugar in this. Ooh, you put, sh you put sugar in this project, Teacher Katie? I did. I put sugar in this project, friends. So I had to let the sugar um, dissolve. Means basically kind of melt down, dissolve into the water. Otherwise we'd have a bunch of sugar at the bottom. Oh, interesting. So they each have, each one of these cups have one cup of water. All right, one cup of water. Mm -hmm. And then they have food coloring. So I have red, yellow, green, and blue. Okay, you don't have all the rainbow colors. Nope, not for this project. Just have, I just have four of them, just four today. Okay, just four today. So the red has no sugar, no sugar. The yellow has two, um, two, wait. <laughs> I forgot what I used. <laughs> two teaspoons, two teaspoons. And the green has four teaspoons. Wait, one teaspoon, two teaspoons, <laughs> and four teaspoons. Okay, so they, they get more sugar, yes. So they have more sugar. And we are going to try to dump them gently into a jar and see what happens. Okay, teacher Katie, do you think it's gonna work? <laughs> well, it's supposed to make, it's supposed to make layers, but I don't know if it's going to or not. Should we try it? Yes, Teacher Katie, we should try it. Yeah, we should definitely try it. This sounds amazing. All right, friends, let's try it. All right, so I got my, I got my big jar. Move my paints over. Okay, so I'm gonna put my blue in first. And then you're supposed to oh. Don't me pour your green, but it already mixed. Uh, if you do it really gentle, oh no, it still kind of worked. gentle. If you do it really gently, you can kind of see the layers. <laughs> oh, I don't think mine's going to layer right. That's okay. Also, if you have something you could squeeze, um, like an eyedropper or like a turkey baster or something like that, <laughs> you can squeeze it really gently. Um, it kind of, from the side, you can kind of see the layers, but my layers aren't, I don't think I can turn it sideways. You can kind of see, you see a little bit of blue at the bottom, you see green, and then the red and yellow kind of mixed. Oh, I wish you could see it. Can I turn it sideways enough? No, not really. <laughs> so. Basically, there we go. Um, basically, what happens is when you add sugar, it makes it makes something a little denser, so it should go to the bottom. So since the blue had the most sugar, it's supposed to be at the bottom, and then the green had a little less than the blue, so then it would be the next layer, and then the yellow would be the next layer, and red would be the top layer, which it is. And kind of, if you look on my side of it, you can, I can see about three layers. So instead of four layers, I got three layers. So if you're a little bit more careful than I am, <laughs> um, you can make some pretty awesome layers. So um, basically, if you have the same amount of water and you put your food coloring in and then 
no sugar, one tea, one teaspoon, two teaspoons, four teaspoons. Um, and you put the one that has the most sugar in first, you can probably get a pretty cool jar going on. I'm so sad that it's not, it's not working out, but that is okay. Uh, it, that's, that's how sciencey things work. Sometimes they work and sometimes, sometimes they don't, but I'm excited. I, I did end up with three layers. I wish, I wish I could show it a little bit better, but that's okay. So I hope you guys have fun doing it at home and I will see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye friends. We're going to go make one of our own, right, Jamie? Yeah, we're going to go make one and we'll be more careful and maybe we can get all the layers. Yeah. We'll try really hard. Okay, teacher Katie. Sounds good. We're going to try again and see what we get. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. <laughs>